And we are back with more Base Sunday. Need a little jump start to get your passion back at work or maybe on the home front? We've, we've got just the book for you here. It's called Coming Alive, The Journey to Reengage Your Life and Career. An easy personal approach that will give you the tools to recognize, hey, what got you off track in the first place and what you might need to get back to work, enjoying a prosperous and, uh, more importantly, a fruitful and happy life. Let's meet the author of Coming Alive, Ruth Ross. How are you? Great, Frank. Thanks for having me in. All right, Ruth. Very personal book because you had an epiphany. 30 years in human resources for Wells Fargo, American Express shop. You woke up one day and just said, I'm dead inside. I had what I call my face in the mirror moment. I got up, did my normal routine, you know, take a shower, looked in the mirror, ready to put on my makeup and comb my hair. And instead, I literally said out loud to the image in the mirror, when are you going to admit that you are completely dead inside yeah. and have lost the passion for what you're doing? And you're not alone. A lot of people in America, nope. and we're not just talking about adults, but college kids, younger kids. Everybody. Are, yeah. Everybody. It doesn't discriminate. 87% mm -hmm. of the workforce on a worldwide basis, 70% domestically, have identified themselves as disengaged. It's a lot of people. That's Well, that's a majority. Yeah. Anyways, um, well, if you recognize the problem, then what do you do? You know, really what it is, the first step really for me was accepting it, mm -hmm. saying it out loud, and admitting that that's what's going on. And for most people, there's really three things that they can do. One is to admit it and say, you know what, I need this job right now, and it's really not the right time for me, and I just have to put my head down and work Get and do down. what I'm doing. Another thing they can do is to go to their manager and have a conversation and connect and say, you know what, I've been doing this a long time. If maybe we tweak some things, I refer to it as job sculpting. You know, just some little tweaks here yeah. and there that could change that maybe might re-engage you mm -hmm. and reconnect you to what you're doing. Or the third choice is to say, like I did, I think it's time to go and find a new passion in life. And whether that happens right away or in my case, I took a good six months to be thoughtful and planful and figure out my exit strategy. Well, there's a, not a chapter, but there's a, a verse in there that says, people don't leave companies, they leave bad managers. Absolutely. So true. I mean, it's not the company per se, but it's like, oh, I work with these people, they're just no fun. No, you know, there are many reasons why people get disengaged. And I like to say it's about a series of paper cuts. So if something happens, let's say you get yelled at at work or you get a bad performance review or a project you were excited, maybe a story to tell mm -hmm. and it gets cut at the last minute. Sure. Those are all paper cuts that each one in themselves, it doesn't bleed, but it kind of stings, right? Mm -hmm. You know, just sure. it's annoying. But when you start having paper cut on top of paper cut on top of paper cut, then it starts to bleed and go deep. And that's really when you know that disengagement has set in. What did you learn about yourself? putting this together, and, and did you find what you wanted? Absolutely. I think for me, the key to it was really admitting it. You know, I managed a wonderful team of people. I worked for a phenomenal company. And at the end of the day, I felt in some ways like I was a fraud. Mm -hmm. I was getting the work done. Every single thing got done. But was I really giving my all to the people that reported to me and to my great company? Mm -hmm. And at some point I had to say, no, mm -hmm. I really think there's something else. So it was admitting it, thinking it through. And for me, I never knew I could even write or wanted to write. But so many people just give were telling me the stories yeah. that they were just like me. And that's when I knew I had to do it for all of us. 30 seconds, couple of tips. You're unhappy in the workplace, right. what do you do? The, the real key for me is, as a society, we just ne need to learn to connect again, to have a simple art of a conversation, mm -hmm. whether it's a manager and an employee, just to get to know each other again and what's important to you, right. or it's a loved one. That lost connection is what's causing disengagement. Okay, well, the book is terrific. And like I said, a quick read, a couple of hours, you can sit down and uh, hopefully help yourself out, not only at work, but in your relationships and everything. And just re-engage. There we go. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in, Ruth. If you'd like more information about Ruth Ross and her new book, log on to RuthKross.com. That's RuthKross.com. It's all about coming alive. That's it for this week's edition and a good show today. We hope you join us again next week. In the meantime, enjoy your Sunday, everybody. We'll see you next week.